you'd be stuck in Siberia now, sucking the juice from a rotten commie potato. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If the U.S. government decides to stick a tracking device up your ass, <laughs> you say thank you. <laughs> America! 20-minute orientation, an hour roundtable discussion, two hours for lunch, a thousand-person town hall meeting, and boom, the Second Amendment's gone. Uh, it's a lot easier to pacify a country when its citizens can't shoot back. I'm sick of people telling me I worry too much. This is the Constitution we're talking about, not a stereo manual. Right, we'll just keep raising our voices. I don't see what other choice we have. It's too dangerous. The women have as much right to fight for their lives as the men do. None of you know how to fight. The more of us there are, the better chance we stand. This is your home. If you want to fight to defend it, that's your choice. I'd be honored to stand alongside you. Canaan attacks tomorrow. Canaan's brutal. He fights only to kill. Which is why he will never defeat us. Look around. In this circle, we're all equals. You're not fighting because someone's ordered you to. You're fighting for so much more than that. You fight for your homes. You fight for your family. You fight for your friends. You fight for the right to grow crops in peace. And if you fall, you fall fighting for the noblest of causes. Fighting for your very right to survive. And when you're old and grey, you'll look back on this day and you'll know you earned the right to live every day in between. So you fight for your family, for your friends. Ability to follow a logical train of thought. I'm not mentally ill, but I do think logic is over.